Hey salut, it's Alex. I am currently in the UK. More specifically, I am heading to Norfolk, which is like uh, the north-ish of England. For a very specific reason, I'm making collaboration with Alec Steele, <laughs> brilliant YouTuber and also a very talented uh, blacksmith. He is the only person out there who can solve my problem. Hey, hey. hey. So how are you? Wait. How are Good you? To see you. Nice how are you guys doing? Welcome. Nice. Bienvenue. Yes. So you know I came here for a collaboration, but do you know yes. exactly what we're gonna make? No, I don't. I use plenty of tools in the kitchen. Nine power drill, grater, impact drill, beer, beer cooler, you name them. Okay. And I thought, well, the hammer is probably underrated in the kitchen. Let's investigate into this. I use I'm, lots of hammers. So you are what, what can be called a hammer authority. I, I, I would say so. I'd say so. If I could. I can. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make a hammer. I think, I, I think that's a plan. Great. I like that plan. The only thing is that I want to make a food hammer. F um, okay. I mean, how different is it? Uh, meat hammer. Let's go back to the board. What is it that we need to achieve specifically when it is that we're hitting food other than hitting it? So we need points. A flat end. How wide does this need to be? And I don't think I want to know the answer because you're probably going to say- As wide as possible. I knew he was going to say that. What is wrong about this? Well, it's, it's a case of how to get there. It's how to take our raw material and then using the equipment that we have and the processes yes. that we have oh, available okay, okay. to actually get to an end result. That's, that's what I'm trying to rack my brain mm -hmm. with. This is the new pyramidizer, because we're going to have pyramidizers. <laughs> Pyramids on one face. Oh yes, let's do this. Would you say that uh, we are halfway through the process? Oh, I'd say that we're further than halfway through. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've got it forged. We've got a bulk of material removed off the faces, okay. and uh, then it's just going to be a case of getting our grooves in there. So, uh, just a quick question. What do you think about very gentle... I think that's a great idea, because hitting something perfectly flat that's that wide is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. You can't hit it flat anyway, so you want a slight radius. It's the same with a forging hand. <coughs> right, so uh, I just took a break from forging and grinding just to get to the supermarket and uh, pick up some nice and tough meat. You, you're annoyed. Yes, sir. You're, you're annoyed. Okay, nice to meet you. Right, so I got the meat. Let's go back to Alex's workshop. It's not Alex, it's Alex. Okay. This is not meant to be eaten as a steak. This is just written on the packet. It's best for braising. What is braising? What, what is braising? Yeah. What is welding? Brazing is a type of type of type of yeah. technique for joining two <laughs> no, metals so, using. So, no, it's not the same brazing. It's, no. it's seared and then stewed. Ah, oh, okay. It's almost finished. The hammer's almost finished. I want to see. Okay. Oh, oui. oh la la. <laughs> It's finally there, oh. guys. Finally there. Oh la la! This is gonna make some damage. Oh la 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 la. Right, so I'm gonna start the experiment. <laughs> I managed to find a knife. I managed to find a kitchen knife in, in your workshop. Who would have thought? I'm gonna cut the steak and we're gonna make this uh, experiment. I would love to have a knife like this in my shop. Really? Even if it's Damascus steel? I, I, I could get over it. Yeah? I, I must say for, 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 the, um, for, for the sake of it that I'm very excited. I I'm a bit too. nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous, but very excited. Oh really, he's like breaking the fibers of this stuff. It's like moving steel. It's it's just it's moving like. I think I could get into cooking if it involved. What do you reckon? Like four, three hundred, four hundred? No, seven hundred. No, <laughs> no, you're kidding. Seven hundred. You're kidding. Seven hundred. Hot steel. Wow, that is burning hot. Mm. 
That was that was really good. Honestly, it's I wouldn't good. believe that that was a bad cut. I've paid a boatload of money for far worse steak. This is some of the best steak that I've ever had. We cooked it on a freaking piece of steel. Whee! This is amazing. Wow. Thank you, man, so much. Total pleasure. We catch up soon in Paris. See okay? you in Paris. See you in Paris. That's beautiful. Now it's time for me to investigate more and to uh, pull out all the uses of a hammer in the kitchen. This is a final boarding call for the Air Lingus, flight EI-301. Right guys, so I'm back from the UK, of course. I brought back the Pyramidizer Hammer of Destiny Storm. But along the way, I also bought a very eclectic selection of foods to uh, try to come up with creative uses of a hammer in the kitchen. So without further ado, let the hammering test begin. Test number one, schnitzel. Next, test number two. Test number three, four, five, nuts. This is a cheap knife. It doesn't have the mass you need to clean cut that bone. Also, it's always a bit sweet. Okay, next. Baking chocolate, biscuit, cookie, uh, black pepper. Corn. French, this is called mignonette. You need to remove the aluminum foil inside first. This one works great. It's a bit like the candies when I was a kid. You know the um, garlic, ginger, palm sugar, ice cubes. Well, that side is even better. <laughs> Celery root. Slit at the top. Well, Timbers, of course, know this very well. Parmesan wheel cutter, the cheesemongers. But for vegetables, it's a first timer for me. Okay, next. This is a very low hydration dough. Yes, it could be a ramen dough, but it could also... Okay, let's face it, it's not the best kneading machine ever. Look! <laughs> well, the next one is called... Uh, wait a second. It was sent to me by a follower on Instagram. J Bar Salo. Costones. Alina Leonard. Fidgeting lids. Oh, no. Whoa! Tastes like donuts. Crab claw. Quick tomato sauce frozen. A mini tortilla. <laughs> Smells like sake and mirin and ginger. And it's very much gonna look like the game whack a mole, which in this case should be called guacamole. Mer, 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 mer. I think we get the answer. It bloody works and bloody is very appropriate right there. The only problem I see is that uh, all the time you spare you know, crushing those vegetables instead of chopping them, you might end up using it, you know. Uh... Okay, so that concludes our series of tests. So I agree, there were a few fails, but honestly, I'm quite surprised about how many successes we got. If you were to share one of your creative hacks in the comments down below, then we will be even more successful. Power to the people. So yes, this is a beast. Yes, this is a bit overkill for all the hacks that I've been showing you today. But I think plenty of those hacks can work with like a wooden mallet or a kitchen hammer. You know, the standards of even a frying pan could work. So no excuse. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, like it and share that everywhere. You know how it works? Smash it like butter. People are never gonna know which hashtag. Definitely go check out Alex Steel uh, Blacksmith's channel and last people click subscribe because I make new videos every week. It's always about the food, but you can probably tell that it's not always about the plate itself. Take care, bye bye, salut.